Hello, hello, hello. This is Scrapping Like a Lady. I wanted to come on here an hour later because I wanted to see, I want to play around with the times a little bit and um, see what, see what happens. Um, yeah, it's an hour later. I normally come on at six on Sundays and well, not like I've been doing it long, but I'm playing with the times. So, uh, and I'm playing with the days. So I'm saying, uh, I, I don't know, just Monday at five. I just thought everybody was getting off work. It wasn't that great of a time. So let's see how Sundays go where everyone's just kind of relaxed doing our own thing and not really to do on Sunday evening. So that's what we're doing. Uh oh, got a little hangnail there. And then, uh, my nails are paper thin. Anyways, so with that being said, hi, Sandy. How are you? Oh, it's it's Miss Pot, Sandy. Hi, baby. Miss Katz, hi. How are you? Is everything going good there in Florida? I hope so. So I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I'm doing. I haven't been doing much of my diamond painting and I came up here the other night and you're doing great, Sandy. Good, baby. Hope to see you soon. Um, I hope to be doing more of my diamond painting. I came up here the other night and I was just, just doing my diamond painting and I should have came on with you guys, but I just, oh, it's storming there. Um, I just was going to come up here for a little bit. So I didn't want to make a 20 minute video. I guess I could have. But anyways, I'm going to start doing some videos where we're just sitting diamond painting and talking and chatting again, as opposed to doing a whole bunch of lives all the time. Well, not a whole bunch, but y'all know what I'm talking about. OK, so I went to the coach store and you guys know I am switching over from Louis to coach and it is a big deal because I do love my monogram print in the Louis, but Louis has done me wrong more times than not. So I am switching. Now, with that being said, um, I went and I made some purchases. So I'll show you guys what I bought. Um, when I got back, it still took me a week when I got back from Florida. I was mad at Louis and, you know, both my bags broke while I was there. So there's no need for that because, you know, Louis be taking all of our coins, y'all. So let me show you what I got. So when I was going and the reason why I took my Louis, even though I had bought my coach stuff, the reason why I did that was because the um, I didn't have a weekenders bag or any of the stuff that I needed to travel. You know, I like to be coordinated with all my little this, that's and others. So we went to the coach store and this is the first purchase. This was actually being held for me and they didn't have any of these at the other stores. So let me show you guys what I got. And my one client, she was laughing at me. She's like, oh my God, why do you have to be all coordinated with your stuff? I just do. Some people don't and it doesn't bother them, but yeah, I like to have all my stuff. So I went and I got this guy right here for my weekenders bag. And it's nice, soft leather, not canvas. <laughs> and so um, it's plenty big. It does have a little um, snap right here to put your handles together. And it's just nice, big and nice. Inside, it's got tons of pockets over here, three pockets and a big pocket over here. It does come with the shoulder strap. And even the shoulder strap has leather. Um, on it. And when I started carrying my crossover bag, I got the larger crossover bag and even though I got the larger one, there are even larger ones. It didn't have the, um, I'll show you the bottom of it is le leather as well. Um, it didn't have the, um, it wasn't big enough to carry my makeup bag and my wallet. So I needed to go back and get an, a, a bag that would carry those two things nicely. And, and they do give you your, your dust cover 
um, bags to go with and everything like that, you know, just like Louis did. Louis does. But um, the tag for that bag you know, it gets the larger tag. And this was my original one, Coco Diva, on my purse. Well, they didn't have this in the larger tag, the black one. They were out of them. So I was like, well, <laughs> hello, I can't have mismatched bags. So um, I had to get the larger tag made. And you guys remember what the um, crossover bag looked like. If not, I'll show you again. Okay, so I got the Coco Diva. That's my little nickname and a little princess crown right there. Um, and I also got it made for the bag right there, my bigger bag. So that's the big one. That's the little one. Okay. And I got it in this fuchsia pink because, girl, a little black, you got to have something to make it pop. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do the black again. I'm going to do something to make it pop. So that's why I got those. And I got it made also for my crossover bag. So now that's that. So I'll show you the other thing that I got. And I was so happy when I went there because they were having a sale. Now, this guy was not on sale, which was fine because we're not paying Louis prices anymore, right? So this one was, um, what was it? Six ninety five. dollars um, Now, if I would have got that at the Louis store... It probably would have been about $3,500. So, Pam, I got to tell you guys this story, though. Who else came up in here? Melanie, hello, hello. How are you, sweet love? Um, Let me get some scissors right here. So, Pam went, went with, okay? And... That girl is so cheap. I'm like, look, I can't shop with you, okay? I, I just can't shop with you. But um, like I said, they were having a sale. And they had about five or six things that were on sale. Well, um, Pam said, how much is this bag to the lady? And the lady said, oh, that one's on, a, it's on sale. It's a great price. It's $175. Now, mind you, Pam's been using Coach for the last several years. and she kept complaining about her bag. So Alan was at the store, the Coke store, and he was like, hey, this is a really nice bag. And so I sent the picture to Pam and Pam's like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We, uh, please get it. I love it. I love it. So he buys the bag. Here it is a year later. She's like, oh, I don't like this bag. I don't like the way it sits. I don't like this. I don't like that. And I'm like, Pam, just get the purse. It's $175. So she's like, Lisa. I'm like, girl, bye. So this one was normally $3.95. This one right here. And it was on sale for, I think, mm, don't get me the lion. Um, it was some monies off. That's all I know. I think I paid $300 for it or, or less. I don't know, about $300. Um, not the close. So, again, I'm just happy I'm not paying Louis prices anymore because that stuff, I'm not saying anything. If you like Louis, do you, boo. I'm not saying anything about it, you know, as far as don't buy it. I'm just saying I'm not going to buy it. So, ugh, my God, Jesus. Would y'all look at that? They're really making sure these persons don't get injured. Okay, so... This is the purse that I got. And mind you, when you get leather, you guys know how leather does. So in time, leather kind of softens and, oh my good Lord, and does what it needs to do. So this is the purse that I got for my everyday purse. Um, and the reason why I got it, well, it's obvious, is because I need it to get something that um, I could carry every day, but something that's large enough that's going to carry my makeup bags and my wallet and all the other garbage that we women like to carry and hurt our back with. This one has the suede. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. The suede right here coming down here. So it's like a two-tone purse. Y'all, really? That's mine. Good gosh. Okay. 
And then it's it's huge inside, you see? So it's got all of that inside. So that's really nice for an everyday purse. Now, my bill was about a thousand bucks and to me that I don't, I don't think that's bad because I know that I would have spent way more than that on just a little bit of nut that wasn't going to even last me. That's all I'm going to say. So that's that. So I got those two bags and I really like this bag. I think it's going to do me well. Um, and I'm coordinated. Now I want to show you guys something. I'm going to take you down on the other camera. I'm going to take it down. Thank you, Sandy. She said that bird affair. Um, okay. So let me show you guys something else. So what have you guys been working on? Look at all this stuff I got over here. Um, are you guys all just taking it easy on a Sunday? God, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get situated. Okay, so let me show you guys this stuff right here. Eyeliner never does what it's supposed to do. It always runs. It's just a hot but a mess. And ain't nobody got time for that. So with that being said, this place, and I'll tell you what it is and what it says, advertise that this eyeliner is going to do me right. It's not going to smudge. It's going to stay on my eyes. Um, it's by Thrive. Got that? Thrive. Okay. And I give you a little bag to go with. Let me... Turn that light off, guys, and I'm going to turn this light on. And I know that to some people, maybe it's not a big deal, but I have very oily skin, and there is nothing worse than talking to a patient and looking up, and all of a sudden, I've got these big black smears going around my eyes and it happens more times than not i tried the waterproof i've tried this i've tried that and none of that seems to work for me it always does what it's gonna do you know so for a while i even stopped wearing eyeliner but this one is supposed to not do that it had tons of great reviews and um and i'm all about that so i got Normally, I wear black eyeliner, and I have noticed that, well, I noticed this one lady. She was a black African-American. She was in the hair store, and um, I looked at her, and she was flawless in every way. And I noticed that she had on orange eyeliner, and she had on an orange jumpsuit. Now, y'all know I love jumpsuits, so I was just like, oh, my God, Ladybug, you are all put together. So... Let's smear this on my arm and see what we get. Now, I just got out of the shower, y'all, and so my body is a little oily. I got bit by a bug right here. It was bigger. So, um, I got blue and I got brown. I did, I did buy some orange eyeliner, but the lady says, I buy my eyeliners right here at the store. So, I bought that eyeliner. Well, yeah. That eyeliner is not what Lisa needs because it did not do the trick. So I'm going to just make a smear mark right here on my arm. And again, I've got on, they said to wait, um, I think 30 to 60 seconds. So let's see, because if not, this eyeliner is going back. So that is the blue. And then, like I said, I got a green. I thought brown. Actually, I got green. Um, as well. So has it, no, it hasn't been 30 to 60 seconds. So let's wait and let's let that do what it's going to do and set up and we'll come back and review it. Now I got quite a few, um, orders in and 
I only bought some of them up here. I don't even know why. But you guys know what time this is. I don't even know what this stuff is in these packages. I just order. Well, you know it came from good old Allie. Okay, so these right here, if any of you guys sew, AliExpress do have these. These are the things you put on the end of your uh, sewing machine for you can sew straight. So it's a magnet and it just magnetizes itself right there. And so you're able to sh sew straight with these guys right here. Because, honey, when you are quilting, it is no joke. You've got to be right up on that quarter inch seam. Actually, a scant of a quarter inch it's supposed to be. Um, so, ooh, you know, it's always Christmas up in Lisa's house because I always forget what I order. Okay. And again, these are not taking long to come from Allie. So if you guys are ordering that, know that it is not taking long. This is called Flower Fairy Diary. Oh, more. Okay. So it's a little pack, a little box, and it's filled with all of these little vellum, um, flowers more for cards and stuff like that you guys oh my gosh these are so cute like this is not doing it justice how cute these guys are oh and there's some little fairies in here hey baby i'm just doing my live come on why don't you come say hi to the people just scream out hi hello <laughs> okay but more of those guys Come on, focus, focus. Isn't that so cute? Like, oh my God, it's not focusing very well. There it is. All right. So, and you get quite a few in here, guys. I think it's like 60 and, oh, 45 pieces in each box. So I got the blue, again, to go with those blue flowers I ordered and the blue papers that I ordered and all of that kind of stuff like that. And then, yeah. Yeah. So did Pam wind up getting the purse? Is that what is that what everybody is thinking? What's the end of my story? You guys know. I love green eyeliner. Well, this will be the first time in my life I ever try green eyeliner. So so Pam did wind up getting the purse. I told her, here, here's a hundred dollars. So now you're only paying 75 bucks. So go ahead, get your get your purse. And she's like, okay. So, oh my God, that lady is so cheap, people. Oh my God, look at these little orange vellum pieces. Focus, stupid camera. It is not going to focus. I'm sure. I Do I have it upside down, people? Y'all can see it. But anyways, so um, that's the orange. And then there's yellow, there's pink, there's a bluish red, and they're all the same. Now, I order quite a bit of this vellum stuff. Like, guys, I just went, okay, so let me show you guys this. I just went cray cray on this. I did, I did. But look at this. Let me show you guys this one. This is so neat because you get the look. Oh, thank you, baby. Is it going to show up on that? Well, thank you. Mama loves you. Okay. There. But look at this. Isn't this so cute? Let me move this one out the way. Maybe that light is too bright. No. It comes with a little vase. And then you can put the flowers coming out of the vase, you know, not that one is too short, but you know what I'm saying. These longer ones coming out of the vase. That is so cute. On a card or whatever. That is just too cute, right? So I saw those and I was like, oh my gosh, Lisa doesn't have those. Lisa need those. <laughs> so anyways, I got the pink ones. And I know Mrs. Katz is like, well, this is all cute, but you don't send out cards. 
you don't do your part. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. As much as I love card making, light is glaring, but so adorable. Oh, the light is still glaring. Okay. Okay, Miss Cat. Um, probably because I should have got a colored piece of paper, right? And not the white paper. But, oh, you know what? Let me use my notepad cover. How about some of that? Okay. I was trying to see this guy right here. It's been long enough. I'm rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. Nope, it's not coming off. Really rubbing. It's not coming off. Okay. I'm going to let it dry a little bit longer and then I'm going to put some oil to it. Now, oil is supposed to take off all. Well, I got oil on my skin, actually. It's it's quite oily right now. Um, my one client bought me some of that body oil um, and it smells so good. It's like the whole room is lit up right now. I smell so luscious. And of course, I got all my leopard pajamas, y'all. I've um, got these from Costco's and yeah, that's a better. And uh, now I have five pair of them. So I wear the same pajamas every day. Yes, I am that person that I like everything to be the same when I open my drawers. Have I ever shown you guys my drawers? The way that I keep my, my clothes. <laughs> I don't think I've gone through my master bedroom and um, showed you guys. Look at this. Aren't these so adorable, guys? Aren't they so cute? Um, yes, you're getting your card this year. <laughs> Miss Katz, my goodness. Um, so uh, my husband, I we did a double shower in our bathroom. And there is nothing like waiting for somebody to get out of a shower for you can get in a shower. So um, we never really had that problem, but I never wanted to have that problem. And we never used our bathtub. It was one of those jacuzzi tubs, you know, ain't nobody got time for that. So I want to get in there and get out, you know, but I mean, if, if I want to take a bath, I can come upstairs and there's a couple of bathrooms up here and take a, a bath, but no. And so I, I, we did a double shower. So Willie had to build it itself. I, and I've no, I, I don't think I've ever shown you guys what he did. So he's such a sweet man and he's so like gifted. He's a little on the lazy side, you know, he doesn't like doing those things anymore. And I wish he was that younger man that he could still do some of the things that my mind creates. I want him to go in there and um, and still do those things. OK, so this is the blue set, guys. Oh, my gosh. Like, <laughs> what are you looking at here? Jesus is so cute. So anyways, um. I've been doing my backyard and I'm going to have someone come and build me a pond. That's what I want. Um, that's what I'm going to get. So isn't that so cute? Like, I know there's a little bit of a glare, mama. She told me so. Um, but I think that when I go into my backyard early in the morning, you know, and have my coffee or tea or whatever I'm drinking, I really like to look out and see God's beauty, you know, and I even like my flowers to be coordinated, you know, all one color, you know, monochromatic type of thing, maybe a lighter hue of purple and then dark purples and everything like that. But this year I actually bought in some yellows and different colors and I'm really digging it. So um, these are a bunch of frames. That is so cute. This is called Old Time Garden. And so it's just a bunch of frames and stuff like that. Those are so cute. 
Pam said um, she's got some fish in her pond and she's got frogs in her pond and everything like that. And she was showing me and I was like, uh, I think I'm a little jealous. So her husband and son, I think, and brother built her pond. And I was, it's so peaceful. If you go to her house, she's all about gardening and everything like that. And her wisteria bushes hang over and it just creates such a beautiful canvas of, of flowers and stuff like that. So I just love it. Okay, so these are big flowers, guys. Okay, okay, there it focused. These are big ones. So I'll go through quickly and show you these. But yeah, um, so yesterday I went to the in mode convention it is for my morpheus 8 machine there are several in here um and they put on a beautiful production but it was cold and i wanted to get out of there there's like eight of these in each one of these frames let me come down a little bit for you can see them So um, it was cold. Pam was like, it's cold, it's cold. They fed us breakfast, lunch, and all the drinks and all of that kind of stuff like that. A beautiful production. I learned quite a bit. And um, it's a little bit of a glare on this one right here. So I'll bring it up a little bit. They're just leaves and things like that. So those are the ones I got. And again, I tell you guys, do not sleep on AliExpress because this right here, like if I'd have bought it locally at one of our stores, God knows how much it would have cost me. You know, this probably would have been like two to three ninety nine each package, you know, so to get stuff for like ninety nine cents, it's worth it. It's worth waiting for. Okay. And last but not least, one more little package. Um, so we go down and again, it was great. We had a good time and everything like that. But after lunch, I told Pam, I'm ready to go. I saw what I needed to see. Well, I realized the day before when the rep came to deliver our tickets, and they, they bought us, um, they sent lunch over for Pam and I at the office. I realized that there is a machine that has five functions as opposed to my machine that has two functions for the same monies. So I said, why didn't you guys sell me the other machine? Uh, I said, somebody dropped the ball, you know, and I, I, I want I want the other machine. And he was like, uh, okay, I says, you tell so-and-so I'm going to whoop his butt and, you know, make this right. So when I saw him yesterday, I walked up, he's like, good morning. I was like, no, it's not a good morning, you know? And he's like, uh, come on now, good morning. I was like, yeah, no, we're not going to do this. You know, we're not talking about, you know, thirty, forty thousand $40,000. We're talking about $130,000, you know? So come on, let's, let's do this. So, um, he, he said that he was going to go talk to the people, his boss and see, you know, about swapping out my machine or whatever, you know, I'm like, I love my machine. Like I look on my schedule now and it says Morpheus 8, Morpheus, Morpheus, Morpheus. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we're going to get this machine paid off and done. But if I could offer more procedures, then it just makes absolutely more sense that I get the other machine, you know, and I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm just trying to, it's about business, you know? So, oh my gosh, guys, look at this one. That is so cool. Again, these are all vellum um, flowers. I love these leaves. my camera's trying and it's like focusing in and out and everything like that so but then when we were leaving the um, valet parking they came and then they were like okay we're gonna go get your car you know and I'm like okay 10 minutes go by I'm like what the heck is going on 
Okay, so that's all that I have. Those guys, all of these guys, more flowers, more vellum. Super, super cute. Um, and so I was like, after 10 minutes, I'd say to the lady, you know, like, what's going on? She's like, I don't know. She calls over and she's like, are you in um, this lady's vehicle? And he's like, yes. And she's like, okay, ma'am, he's coming with your car. Another 10 minutes go by, no car. Another 20 minutes go by, no car. I was like, um, after 30 minutes, I went back over and I was like, where, where's my car? And she says, oh, let me turn the lights back on. She says, I have no idea what is going on. So after about, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes or so, the guy pulls up with my car, valet, mind you, to wait 30 to 45 minutes. I don't even know how long it was. I'm sure it was probably anywhere between the two times, you know, if not longer. So uh, Pam was, Pam said, he doesn't deserve a tip, you know? And I was like, yeah, no, but he did go get the car. Come to find out the boy had to stay because someone had broken the glass of another vehicle and he was a witness to it. So he was there with the police officers, I guess, given, a, you know, they were taking a report or whatever and he couldn't leave until after the report was taken. So with all of that being said, that's why he took so long to bring me my vehicle. And, um, you know, like things happen, you know, he, I guess he could have told the lady, can you send someone over to get this lady's car? I'm talking to the police, you know, more communication could have been done, mind you, but it is what it is, you know, I mean, it was a little upsetting when you're standing there and not knowing why, you know, person after person is getting their car, but you're not getting your car. So that's the only reason why I was like, lady, make this right. <laughs> See where my car is, you know? <laughs> yeah, and I didn't want to be brass because she, she was a pregnant girl. And I mean, she was big pregnant. I was like, why are you working? You know me, I'm nosy. I was like, why are you working? I mean, this baby looks like he's about to come and exit your body any second, you know? So... Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me put all of this stuff away. I don't have anywhere to walk. Oh, let me show you guys. Wait, wait, wait. I got to show you this before we start doing a little diamond art. Y'all know what this is. I got another cutie. So let's see what color it is. Does anyone else out there get these mystery boxes from Cricut? They have been doing so many releases. Like for so many years, I've always wanted to get a cutie and never received one cutie in my mystery box, not one. So all of this stuff plus a mat came in. Care? We don't care, people. All we care about is this one little cute box. Yeah, like this girl is losing it, Jesus. He's red. He'll go right next to the cranberry one. That is so cute. Isn't he cute? I've got quite a collection now. I'm happy. Like, if I didn't get any more, I'd still be happy. But y'all know I'm going to get some more. You know I'm going to get some more of those guys. All right, let's go down and do a little bit of diamond art. I am still working on the Sherry Baldy people. Let's go down. Isn't he cute? He is. Look at this floor. Oh, look at look at all of this, guys. Do you see this mess I got all over here? <laughs> yes, I got a hot mess over here. So it is time to get into a little diamond. Oh, my cutie went over the over the edge. If you guys don't know, these are my favorite suckers. I love these blow pops. 
I really, really do. I like the cherry ones only. I mean, I will eat the other ones only because I'm an equal opportunity greedy person. But um, the cherry is my favorite flavor. Move my phone out of the way. Look at this hot mess. Okay, guys. So Thrive does get thumbs up. It is holding on. Again, my skin is oily because I put oil on before, well, right after I got out of the shower. And it is hanging on tight in there. And I didn't even do a hard, hard line. I just kind of did it a couple of times right there, but very lightly. Um, so we're going to say that Thrive did that. But I will come back and give my full review on that once I wear it tomorrow. Because for whatever reason, this oily skin that I have loves to, oh, I'm glaring, loves to um, smudge and smear and give up the makeup on my face. So please post your pen in the group. Okay, will do. I will do that, Miss Cats. You'll only have to remind me one time this time. <laughs> She's like, yeah, right, okay. Okay, so this is what I'm working on. I have been using these two pens, uh, my Poshy pens. I absolutely love them. Um, these are just a girl's favorite. Here's my glasses, because y'all know that these little symbols, when you're over 50, your little eyeballs are not that good. I am going to order some more of these trays right here. I am not going to order any more of these trays. Um, I'm not mentioning any names. If you know the name of the company by just looking at them, that's great. But um, these are by far my favorite pens here. Uh, excuse me, trays. So this week, let me start up. Last week, guys, I was on time for work every single day. I sound so childish to say that, but you guys know how, how late I run. I'm always a courteous 15 minutes late. And I was listening to Miss Eva Monroe. Like I said, don't sleep on Eva. Okay, this is why. And she was saying that... Um, it's a sign of a lazy person. And I was like, I don't want Eva to think bad of me. So actually, I think I'm done with this one for now. Oh no, I'm over here. Let me turn my canvas around. So I and Pam, the first day Pam said, oh yeah, one day, Lisa, big deal, whoop de doo and all of this. And I was like, okay, you, you challenging me? Uh, are you Are you really challenging me? You know, I am always a competitive person. So don't do that. Mm -mm. So let me put these ones back in this tray right here. Now I'll leave it in that. I'll transfer that in a minute. Um, so I was on time every single day. Do I get a do I get an applause? Whoa, good girl. Yes, I was on time. Yay me. And so now this week, what am I working on? This week I am going to actually try to be um early. I'm going to try to be early. Now that, my dear, is going to be a feat because Ms. Lisa ain't never early. Now I show up uh, a, a scant 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there, but early? Yeah, we ain't about all of that. But I'm going to try it because I'm trying to foster good behaviors um, in my life. So I'm not too proud to, you know, say that I'm not changeable. This is just the way I am. Deal with it. My husband says that a lot. I'm like, yeah, no, you can change, you know, we're human beings. So um, that's just pride. So I'm going to try it. What y'all think? Can I do it? Y'all know. Well, you know what? I used to be on time for work when I worked in the um, operating room. 
um, you if you were more than seven minutes late, they took an entire hour off of your paycheck. So we wasn't trying to lose a whole hour, you know, and um, you needed to be there for surgery because then you've got to have the surgeon on your back and, you know, your whole team. So it's all about habits and time management. You got this. Mrs. Katz, I love you. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to try it. The, the problem with me is that I am not very conscious of time. You know, when you have a person that's um, very lax and very, you know, akuna matata in life, time doesn't really play that much of a part. And my dad said, a person that doesn't wear a watch doesn't know where he's going. And I think that's the only reason why I wear a watch, because I hardly ever look at the time. <laughs> Pam comes in the room literally, and she's like, Lisa, your next patient is here. If she wasn't that alarm for me, um, I'd probably spend the whole day with one patient, you know? So you do not want to be the surgeon on <laughs> Yeah, no, you do not want the surgeon on you. No. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've had it where I've had a clock in the room and I don't even look up at the clock. You know, it's almost like having pictures on the wall. After a while, you don't see the pictures. That's how I am with time. Again, that's probably why I have a tad of time on my side. You know, just my arch emesis. Just. Yeah. So. It's all right. Everybody's got something that they don't do well with, you know, everybody. And that's what I keep telling myself. But I don't want to be thought of as a lazy person. You know, I I, I, I have this shirt that says, sorry, I'm late. I didn't want to come. Um, and, it, and it's a funny thing to say, you know. But and sometimes, honey, that thing is real. Sometimes, you know, you don't want to go to work. You want to do anything but go to work. You know. I mean, I like my job. No, I don't even call it a job. You know, it's 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 great. It's fun. It's you're hanging out with your girlfriends. My place, you know, my my people come in and they're just like. um Lisa, hey, girl, and they'll come have a drink, stay for hours, you know, um, talk to the other patients. Now, some of the patients know the other patients and they're like, you were here when I was here last time. What'd you get done? And, you know, they're all yakking it up and everything. And I come back out there after a whole hour of being with another patient and they're still out there laughing and talking like old girlfriends, you know, and a couple of them, they'll meet each other there and it's all good. You know, we have a great time. So, yeah. Hi, Wendy. How are you, sweet love? I hope all is well with you. So, yeah, we're going to put down this thing and try to make some ground. I think I would say that I'm halfway through this canvas. Um, I'm not going to put a time on when I'm going to be done with it because, yeah, no, we're not doing that. I won't say any more, but we're not doing that today because sometimes I'm like, I should be done with this in a week or two. And mm -hmm. we know with that last one, London, oh my God, that London. No, I have not gotten London framed. Um, you know what? I should do that tomorrow. The only thing I have on my schedule to do tomorrow that is mandatory is go get my teeth clean. So, yeah, me and Cameron are going to go get our teeth clean. Um, it was supposed to be all three of us, me, Cameron, and Logan. But I realized on Friday, and I called them, see how courteous I am, and told them, yeah, Logan has to work on Monday um, at that time. Can we come earlier? And she was like, yeah, no. So we'll have to um, put Logan a week from now at a different time, which is fine. 
You're okay, Wendy? So, nothing big is going on. I was going to take Logan to Comic-Con today. Okay, guys, let me tell you something. Yes, I was going to take the baby to Comic-Con. And it's in Irving this year, not in Dallas. Normally, I drive all the way down to Dallas every year, never miss, right? So, I had two miles left on my gas tank. And I was just like, hi, baby. Good Say hi to the people. Can they see my face? No, Good. nobody can see your ugly face. All right. Keep it that way. <laughs> Keep it that way. You just woke up. So um, I had two miles left and Pam's like, I am not pushing your car. I'm like, I have AAA girl. Don't nobody care. If we get stranded, we get stranded. Again, Akuna Matata, right? So we make it to the gas station and okay, it was Let what, me, I'm baby? Gonna interrupt you just real quick. I'm just letting you know I'm gonna go spend the night and play horror games at my homeboy's house. Oh. Baby. Okay. Yeah. I'll just let you know. Okay, call me when you get there. And then I'll be back in the morning because I still gotta go to my dentist appointment and all that. Yeah. Get my oil change at the same time. So. Okay. Mama love you, be safe and stay inside if you go to his house. Uh yeah. I mean, I will never play out no, you guys might. Anyways, yeah, he's 25, but he's still my baby. Anyways, so um, we get the, we're, we're, I'm about to pump gas and Pam says, how much is it? Now, I never pay attention to gas prices. It, you know, you need it. It doesn't matter what it is. We all know it's high, but I don't pay attention to it. It was $5.59. High offspring. $5.59. I said, what in the world? It came to $105 to fill my tank. I And I was like, I, I cannot believe this. This is sickening. $105. So I was supposed to go back downtown today and I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I am not driving down there one because I didn't feel like it. But two, I am not going to run my gas out of my tank. <laughs> oh, my God. I sound so cheap right now. But, honey, I don't care. It's a reality. That is just ridiculous. A hundred and five bucks. We're paying car notes again, people. Are we not? No. It's a cardinal, but I'm exaggerating. But you know what I'm saying. So Pam said, I remember a time when I was a young girl and it was 29 cents a gallon. And it took two gallons or something like that. Um, but she said, we scraped up the $2 just to get the just to get gasoline. I was like, <laughs> eh, mind y'all, Pam is 70. So that was... 60 years ago, I'm sure or more. But um, yeah, I was just like, that is ridiculous. So gas is precious, you guys. Gas is very precious. You know, I'm like, Cameron sent for food today, Wingstop, and the people bought the food, you know, and it's no wonder everything has gone up because of gas. So to have food delivered is going to cost you more because the gas is more expensive, you know? So, yeah. But well, there's nothing we can do but complain about it, I guess, which I'm not really complaining. I'm just, I was in shock. You know, there's one thing to... Um, complain and say oh it's somebody's fault you know and blame it on the president and everybody else you know doing all of that stuff like that yeah no it is what it is so it's not just high here it's high in other countries as well you know so and they don't have our president so i'm not believing all of that and even if it was even if it was our president's fault we can't do nothing about that hi little miss press how are you? We can't do anything about anything. You know, all we can do is complain about it or laugh about it. And that's what I choose to do. Just laugh it off and stay my little ugly self right at home. You know, that's why I I was going to go to Ulta even the other day. And I was like, mm, 
No, I'll just have them bring it to me. <laughs> Amazon, hello. Bring me my goods. Willie has coffee and paper towels and all of this stuff on a rotation. You know, just it, um, automatic shipments and stuff like that. So we never run out of toilet paper and paper towels. And um, I guess that's a that's his way of not leaving the house. I told that man I want to leave the house and go somewhere. Now I'm like, hmm we better start doing our hobbies and stay put. No more of these frivolous trips to the Hobby Lobby and everywhere else running out your gas. Because by the time you run your gas out, hell, you could have bought something at the stores or ordered something online. That's the truth. $105, people. That's what it was. Uh, in the war and COVID. Yeah, right? Evening, Lisa. I'm surprised I caught you. Hi, Penny. How are you? You did catch me. I came on an hour later, uh, playing with the times to see what we get. Um, watch the replay and you'll see my little coach bags that I, I picked up. Um, yeah. So I think I'm really going to like it. I already have the paint, the purse that Pam bought um being held for me so i've got to get that one and there's a few other ones that i want to get you guys know what i do i wait and i let my little tip money build up and then i use it i've got quite a bit of tip money saved but for some reason when i put it aside to save it that's no longer usable money <laughs> so I do have some in my wallet from last week that I can use. So I have the purse that I want to get is the one that Pam has, and it's 175, 177, or something like that, actually. Um, so I do have that already to that amount. I am so blessed. I see why people like being waiters and waitresses and stuff like that, because you get money every day. You know, you get coins every day. It's so fun. One big payout is good, too. So Willie shopped around for um, um, uh, what is it? Insurance the other day. That's another thing, girl. Honey, honey, honey. Insurance is so high, too. You know, and then they tell you, oh, we're not covering that. We're not covering that insurance on the house. Right. So, you know how you guys do the bundles. You get the house, the cars and everything else bundled in there. And Cameron is the only kid that we have that is still on our insurance. So um, Richard lost his driving privileges a long time ago. So he doesn't have a vehicle. But um Cameron turned 25. So yeah, that insurance went down or is supposed to go down. Um, but you know, you have to call your insurance company and tell them. They will tell you if, when you get a, um, a reason for them to go up on your insurance, but they're not going to call you to tell you that we need to lower the rate. <laughs> so Willie was like, do you know how much the insurances are on both of the houses? And I was like, no. And he told me what it was, but child, I don't remember. I don't get involved in the finances. He pays the bills around here completely. I couldn't tell you what's in my bank account. I couldn't tell you any of that kind of stuff. I, I don't get involved in that stuff. You know, that's for him to work out. So, um, he told me what the amount was. And of course, to him, it must have been high because he was like, I'm going to look for a different uh, insurance. So he did that and he called Walker Insurance and Walker Insurance for you people that don't know. Nice love watching what you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I buy a lot, don't I, Penny Gal? Um, so he was able to call Walker and Walker insurance has, um, it's a place that shops for the best insurance rate. And my neighbor across the street, Tanya is the one that turned me on to Walker. And so, um, 
you don't have to do the, you know, checking here, checking that, trying to get quotes and stuff like that. They put what your um, what you currently have and they will find you a comp on that. So they came back with another insurance company and it was twelve hundred dollars a year cheaper and um, a little bit more on the car insurance, but cheaper on the house insurance. And it totaled a twelve hundred dollar savings a year. So I said, are you going to change it? And he was like, um, did you hear what I said? It's twelve hundred dollars cheaper. I'm like, yeah, but you like farmers or state farm, whichever one he got. Um, he's like, not enough to give them an extra $1,200 a year. So I guess we're changing insurance companies for the cars and for the house. So, but if you tallied how much you pay out in insurance, like life insurances, car insurance, um, house insurance, you know, health, by the time you finish tallying everything, my goodness, your paycheck and everything else in life is ate away, honey. That stuff adds up. And don't throw away my liability insurance because I think that's like $6,500 at my facility just for the liability insurance alone, you know? So that crap adds up, child. We ain't got no coins left. We just can buy our little bit of diamond art and the stuff we have to make ourselves happy. The government got all our money back. <laughs> like my son, Richard, always say, Mom, you're just a slave. Yeah, well, I'm a slave with some fun stuff to do. You're a slave with nothing. <laughs> oh, good Lord, Jesus, help me. No, there's no help in me. Okay. So anyways... But I am still in shock over that insurance, that um, that insurance, the um, gas people. I mean, uh, my husband had a recall on one of his medications, and he needs it daily for seizure. Oh my God! And the hassle we have about getting our money back because of some quality issues. Oh my God, Penny, that, yeah, they are so insurance companies, honey. They will take your money in a hot but a minute. But as soon as you have a problem, they're just like, that's not covered. Oh, sorry, you're dying. That's not covered. <laughs> Remember with my diabetes medication, they were like, yeah, that's $3,800. I'm like, for what? For four injections, it was actually for three months. It was $3,800 they wanted for three months. So it would have been 12 syringes with like one a male in each syringe. Now, y'all know it did not cost them that kind of money. I understand you got the research and everything like that. But by the time they've had that stuff on the market for a couple of years, they've made all that money back. So I'm not trying to buy that. You're not going to tell me, oh, it's because of the research. Mm -mm. No, it is not because of the research. It's because you got greedy people wanting to take advantage of people who have no other choice. We're dependent on that stuff, you know? So my diabetes isn't from anything that I've done wrong. You know, I'm not overweight. I'm not any of that stuff. It's just hereditary. It was coming for me, people. Now, am I compliant? Hell no. I'm not compliant. But that's just part of my rebellious spirit. But uh, my A1C is good right now, people. Can you believe that? Miss Lisa's doing good. I have like no appetite and I was taking that one peptide that was it's uh, supposed to reduce the enzyme in your fat cell and keep you from yo-yoing with your weight not stop taking that all together um and I'm still losing weight though I got on the scale and I'm two pounds lighter so I was like hmm and I haven't taken that medicine in like a week so I know it's it has nothing to do with that. And I actually stopped losing weight on that peptide. The other peptide that PT, I told you guys it was PT141. It excuse me, I said it was PT140 is what I said. 140. It's PT141. Um 
to help you with your lady parts. If you guys caught my vehicle mingo to get your libido back up. So it's PT, Paul Tom 141. So ask your doctor for some of that. Um, if you're looking at your husband like you hate him, you might need some medication. That's not harmful, right? A supplement. And my other client texted me this evening and said that it's working. So, um, that you know, that saying, happy wife, happy life, it's the same for your husband as well. You want to you wanna have just a happy marriage, happy relations. So, there you go with that for anybody who's interested. Now, everybody might not be interested. And I know some of you are like, oh, my goodness, is she talking about that stuff? That's my voice of a crazy person. I'm not even going to go up there. I'm going to stay right here, right here, right here. I'm trying to do better with stop going all around the canvas and everything like that. But as you can see, sometimes I get a little <laughs> about myself. So, yeah, it has been an hour. I have been yakking to you guys. I'm sure y'all sick of me talking, right? What are you guys going to do for the rest of the night? Anybody going to do anything interesting? Is there anything good on TV? Not that I watch TV, but any good movie that anybody can suggest before I go off. Are you riding your bike, Lisa? Um, actually, my bike had a flat and my husband bought this liquid that he's going to put into my tires and then I won't have to ever worry about getting a flat again. And he just got that in and, well, he got it in a few days ago. And he's supposed to be putting it in my tires. So, yeah. But I am not turned off by the thought of going bike riding. You know how when you when it's time for you to go to the gym, if you're first getting into it, you're just like, Ugh, it's time for me to go to the gym. You know, I don't feel that way at all. So, um, nope, just diamond painting. Penny says, uh, can you tell me where your canvas is from? This is a Sherry Baldy from Diamond Art Dreams, my love. Um, this is the bestie. It's the little, um, two little girls and you could get it in the two little white girls or two little black girls. And so me and my best friend are black. So we, we got it in the black. <laughs> so yeah, this is a Sherry Baldy and they're sitting on top of flowers and everything. So I'm just going to put one more color down and then I'm going to say good night and let you guys tell me what movie I should be watching. I want to watch a good movie. So this morning when I woke up, my husband said to me, I'm a bit of a mess, to be honest. Needing a bag, took time off, etc. Oh, good for you. Let's talk about taking time off. So... I told you guys last week that I was thinking about not working on Tuesdays anymore. And if I implement a new schedule, it's like that. So if I say I want to do it, I want to do it. It's done. You know, um, my girlfriend's like, oh, I am booked out for months in advance, Lisa. And I was like, well, I'm glad you are. I am not. And I'm glad that I'm not because I don't have to call those people to cancel them. So, um, yeah, I, 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 even if it's just for summer, summer, taking it lighter, doing a lighter load or whatever. Um, let's see, let's put down H 15, um, for I can enjoy some of the summer months, you know, and, um, Logan works on Monday and I'm actually looking to get his schedule changed and ask, can he work a Thursday and a Friday? You know, um, he got a little accolades because he um, has been there for six years now. So they give him the little gifts and prizes and stuff like that, you know. Um, so 
I he could easily switch to the facility that's literally down the street from me. There is a Market Street there, um, but he's been at his place for six years and he knows those people and those people know him and he has a good work experience. So I do not want to have him change facilities um, because he's been there so long, you know, and Logan does do good with change. You know, some of these uh, special need kids, they do not do well with change, but he's got me for a mama. So I was not going to um, live life according to what Logan could handle and couldn't handle. He was going to have to live life according to Lisa. So with that being said, I took him everywhere and made him do everything just like regular people do, you know? So, and I really, you know, pat myself on the back because he's come so far you know, even, you know, the doctor's like, well, he might not talk. Yeah, no, he's going to talk. He's going to talk to me. Even if he don't talk to the rest of the world, he's going to talk to me. But um, that's why I got him all the different therapies that I did. That's why I ran around weekly, you know, all day on Fridays. You know, my even my husband was like, um, don't you think you're doing a little bit too much? You know, no, I don't. You know, if I don't do it, who's going to do it? you're at work. So yeah, um, we did equestrian therapy. We did swim therapy. We did speech therapy. You name it. If it was a therapy, yeah, we was doing it. So he's come far because of me. And I'm glad, you know, um, when I was going to the, I don't even know how I got on this subject, but when we were going to the, um, uh, what are they called? you know, where everybody sit around and talk about uh, support groups um, for autism. I was like, listen to these people. And they're like telling me, oh, my kid won't do this. He's a child. Well, what do you mean he won't? You better get up out of here. He will because I said he will. So, yeah, I, I never was, you know, one to just give in and say, well, I'd like to go to lunch with you. But um Logan doesn't like doing that at that facility at that time. And this, no, it ain't about Logan. It's about me. <laughs> Logan is a child. Logan's opinion does not matter. So if he cut up, I just looked at it as if he's just a regular kid cutting up, you know. But with all that being said, I do respect the fact that I wouldn't want somebody to say, you know what? Your work schedule isn't convenient for me. So I'm changing your work schedule. Yeah, no, that's not being loving or a caring parent. So that being said, I'm not going to have him come to the facility that's closer to my work just because it would be more convenient. Convenient for who? Better for who? Not for my babies. So yeah, we're not doing that. But I would like to change the schedule um, because I'm off on Mondays and I would like him to be off with me. Because he's my my road dog, you know? I want him to be able to go when I go and do what I do. When I go for massages, he loves going for massages. If I go get my toenails done, he loves pedicures, you know? If I want to go to the um, all-night spa, he loves it. He sits in there, crisscross applesauce, and he does his fingers like, hum. it's the funniest thing, guys. It is so funny, so cute, you know? <laughs> So, yeah. And I love my baby enjoying life. He doesn't get afforded the same things as Cameron. Like Cameron came in here a minute ago. Yeah, I'm going to go to my friend's house and we're going to stay up playing games all night because Cameron's off on Sundays and Mondays. I'm like, that's great. He's driving away with a car that he didn't have to pay for. You don't pay insurance on it. He, he has a great life. Well, Logan doesn't get the same things. He, he doesn't get to drive a car you know, pick out the car you want and drive away and no. So some things he doesn't get, he doesn't have any friends, which is something I need to shore up. You know, um, there's a mentally handicapped, mentally retarded, it's called, uh, you know, that old way of saying stuff, MHMR um, in Denton. 
and they have a lot of resources and I need to tap into that or pen pal groups. Do they even have pen pals anymore? You know, people are such wackadoodles. You can't even have a good pen pal that might try to lure you, your kid off to do something. That's what, you know, I would be afraid of, but maybe we need to find a way to get something going for him. Anyways, guys, I am sorry. I am just rambling on for another 10 minutes, right? You guys are like, bye, foo. <laughs> Anyways, let me let you guys go. I want you to be blessed. Nobody recommended a movie for me. Not one movie, not one series or anything. Are you guys sleeping? Are you doing diamond art with me too? Just listen to me rambling on, just putting down your drills. Logan can have friends. Yes, but how do I get him some friends? The lady at the bank, she has a special needs child. Um, and I was talking to her about Logan. Um, I don't know. The mama seemed a little special, a little touch to me. I was like, oh, we should get them together. And she just stared at me. She didn't say, oh, yes. And so she was just staring at me. And I was like, well, here, let me give you my phone number. You know, just call me and we can, you know, have the meet. They seem to have the same interest, you know, because I, I don't know. She was just kind of strange, you know, but she and I ain't got to be friends. Our kids can be friends, though, you know. Anyways, that's that. So, yeah, I need to find Logan some friends. Look into the program in the area. Talk to the director, etc. Yeah, I, I am. I'm going to go um, call the, you know, Logan has Social Security. He gets Social Security, so he gets his own little coins. And you want to hear something? Let me go off, off on another branch over here. I... He gets one check deposited into his bank account. You know, they only give him like 700 bucks a month, right? So he gets like $400 deposited into his bank account and the other 300 and something dollars come to the house. And it's not supposed to because they're both supposed to go to the bank and I had it set up that way. But for some reason, the state keeps sending it to the house. So his money is his money. How come those checks that they sent to the house are just accumulating in my new purse? I transferred him from my old purse and I was like, oh, I need to take these to the bank. No, I just, I just haven't done it. I'm like, it's a good thing he don't need his money because he does not have a responsible parent. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And he, he orders a lot off of Amazon too, you know, but at his work, they don't give them paper checks they give them a card and all the money is deposited on their card and so he uses that card to order his amazon stuff and um he said to me the other day i said logan do you need money for lunch or anything and he says yes my card was declined i'm like that's because you've been <laughs> shopping on it too much but if he had access to the other account he probably would be broke but yeah no he um <laughs> it's so funny i think i'm done with all the h's oh no i got a few up here but yeah like i said he doesn't get the same experiences let me say because i won't say he doesn't get the same joys out of life because i make sure my baby have a good life but he doesn't get the same experiences that his siblings get and he's so funny when we were in washington he says to his older brother richard uh richard now richard's very protective of logan he he loves his brother you know and he, Logan says to him, Richard, you ought not drink all that liquor, Richard. And Richard just twists his face up and started laughing. <laughs> He's like, yeah, Logan, you're probably right. Yes, I am right, Richard. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, that's that, people. Oh, here we go. One down here. I'm going to get my little ugly self off of here. Okay. If you have a bank 
um, app. You can deposit through that. I know that's what I do with my mom's checks. Okay, so let me tell you about that. Okay, you know what my biggest fear is with that. I need to tell you guys this, and I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, my biggest fear with that is putting it in the wrong account because I have my business account and you know, and all the different accounts and stuff like that, you know, but I'm always afraid that I'm going to put it in the wrong account and then I'm going to have to go and fix that and do this, that, and the other, you know, we have two different banks. I have Bank of America and I have Chase Bank and we have several, several, several accounts. And so I don't know. I just feel like it's better if I go into the bank and do it, you know, just old fashioned way of thinking. I remember when we first got ATM cards, my grandma said, Ooh, that stuff, that's the mark of the beast. That's the mark of the beast. Don't go get yourself one of those cards. You know, I was like, uh, yeah, got a little chip on that too. Don't get that stuff. I was like, oh my God, grandma, really, lady, really? So uh, maybe I have a little bit of my grandma in me. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, it was good talking with you as always. You guys be blessed. I'm going to go suck on my lollipop and try to find something to watch uh, on my iPad. Be blessed. Deuces. We all do lovely. Nancy, are you just coming in here? Did I miss you all this time, Nancy? I am so sorry. I'm sorry. Be blessed, everybody. Again, it's always nice talking to you guys, you know, and I and I do appreciate you coming and spending time with me. So um, I know a lot of people don't like lives. They like watching the replays and stuff like that. So um, and that's fine. Whatever floats your boat and gets you there. Right. So um, deuces. Better get my little ugly self off of here. It is an hour and 16 minutes, people. Bye bye.